Hey guys, this is Angie. Um, this is the second vlog I'm making. I know I said I was gonna make more, um, but a lot has happened in between and then it's like that and now. So I bought a brand new laptop so I could stream with it, right? And that's when I made the first video saying, you know, hey guys, I'm back, I'm gonna stream. Oh, well, you see this laptop here, I bought it in May, and I had to exchange it uh, five days into, like, owning it, because it did, like, this weird black screen, like, after the update or something like that, so I called Acer, and they were like, girl, you need to return that, because you just bought it, they'll give you a new one, or they'll refund you, so I brought it back to, uh, Mark Micro Center where I bought it from and they gave me a new one right and so I was like okay I have this new one I'll be good a month later it blue screened on me so the blue screen of death and it did like this thing where it took away like all the admin powers or something like that so I couldn't even log in and the only thing with Acer that I kind of Actually, you know what, let me just say, it's very unfortunate that they don't provide you like, you know, a reformat CD for your laptop with Acer. So when something happens like that, you have to send your laptop back to them. So that took a total of two weeks. And so I streamed on Xbox, which I'm a terrible console player. and then. I streamed on my phone, I think, too. So, finally got my laptop back, and I was super excited. I was like, okay, you know, this is it. We're going to be all right. A month later, it does the same thing. Now, every single time I get my laptop back, right, what they, like, include in the box is, like, what they did, like, what troubleshooting they did. So, all it says is we've reformatted your computer, um, and we've reinstalled uh, the like OEM software so like you know like the Acer software and etc right well anyways so I had to send it in they reformatted I got it back and then recently like this okay so so from when I got it back I think it was like in like October or something from October to December, actually to now, technically, I've been having like so much problems, so many problems with either like, like the streaming software, which I don't think it's the streaming software, right? And like, just my stream disconnecting. So if you look at like, my past history for like the last month or so, you'll see like disconnects and like streams that last like 45 seconds or like a minute or like two minutes or something like that and it's just like constant disconnects oh my god it's so frustrating anyhow i came to like this close to like smashing and breaking my laptop but the thing is my laptop is still technically new it's like less than half a year old right my warranty doesn't expire until May of this year. And so, okay, so yeah, so I've, oh, I've had it from May until now, right? I had, I exchanged it one time, filed two claims on it, almost filed a third, but I ended up being able to figure it out myself. And so now that's how I'm making this video and I'm gonna stream in a little bit. But I called Acer and I was just, very very frustrated and i <laughs> spoke with three different reps it was terrible so the first rep I, I didn't speak with them but i did the online chat i yeah i did the online chat spoke with the rep and he was like oh okay like i, I told him the whole story right like via typing and that's a lot to type and so he's like oh well i'm so sorry about that you know um uh, unfortunately, it's out of my, like, you know, authorization. I can't really do anything about it, but I can get you to someone that can help you. Um, let me just go ahead and transfer you to someone in, like, support help 
group two or something, like escalation two. And so then he transfers me to another agent, right? And then I have to tell the agent the same thing. So I co <laughs> pretty much copy and paste, same thing. Agent listens and he's like, oh, I'm so sorry about that. You know, that sounds like it's super inconvenient. And uh, he says, I'm sorry, it's out of my authorization because I'm a support one rep and you need to talk to someone in like the support two group. And so he transfers me to third person and this third person actually did the most for me. So I had to tell her everything. She actually gave me a case ID number. But after speaking with her for two hours, okay, two hours of typing back and forth, right? She says, sorry, we're gonna close in 20 minutes and um, I can't really help you because I'm level one and you need to talk to someone in level two and the only way you can reach them is through a phone. Like you have to call them. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I went from level one to level one to level one and now you tell me that I have to call. Anyhow, so yeah. So I called the next day and I spoke with the rep and basically just, you know, I, I told her I had COVID. <laughs> Cause I, I, I did, <laughs> but I wanted to make it sound like, you know, like I went through a lot of suffering. <laughs> Cause I did, honestly, I did. <coughs> um, and after like, you know, discussing like how from beginning to end, how many claims I put in and like how much loss of time I've had with my gaming laptop because, you know, I wanted to stream and make videos, right? You can't really create content when you don't have a working laptop, like a brand new laptop. And so basically she was just like, you know, we might be actually be able to do something about that uh, based off the warranty. There's like limits of liability. And like, if it affects you, like, uh, I guess if it affects you, like monetary, no, I'm, I don't want to say it. if it's like, if it affects the way you live, I guess is how they put it. Like you have to go through suffering. So because of that, they're able to either like exchange it for you, which I don't want the same laptop again, like heck no. Uh, but they can also refund you. So like based off how much of the warranty you've used, right? Uh, they would deduct that and then they would refund you. So I was thinking about like exchanging my laptop in for like a desktop. Cause first of all, my laptop when i purchased it it was like 1800 and i can easily get like a desktop for like a thousand you know like or i could just build my own but i don't know i'm, I'm just gonna keep keep that open and see what like acer says because this conversation between me and acer was literally like two days ago and so no one has contacted me back yet, but I finally got my laptop working. So I'll follow up with them and see what like options they have. Hopefully they have an option that's viable for me. If not, I just have to pray to the stream gods that, you know, not stream gods, the laptop gods and stream gods that my devices work and I can actually, you know, create some content. But yeah, so, so that's why I haven't been here. <coughs> it doesn't help that for the last two weeks I've had COVID and apparently I didn't know I had COVID. I just lost my voice. And so I, I couldn't talk, I, I just, didn't have a voice and I thought it was like strep throat or like you know bronchitis but it was weird because it was also hard for me to breathe and it felt like there was like fire in my throat so I thought I had strep throat and that's what I was telling you know my friends and family and then like 
a week and a half later, I realized that it might be COVID and, um, you know, you can get like home test kits now through USPS. And so I ordered some and I tested myself and it said that I was COVID positive. So yeah, but I got, I got over it. It just, it sucked. It really did for, for anyone that's going through that right now. I am so sorry. Like just cough drops, buy a bunch of cough drops and like stay hydrated, sleep, just sleep and you know just wait and hope it goes away really really fast but then again my immune system sucks it like severely sucks so yeah and you know the, what the weird thing is i don't really go outside that much so like for me to catch covid <laughs> i don't even know how i would have caught covid because i don't go out unless i need to for like food and stuff, right? So the only thing I can think of is my D&D &D group on Sundays. So one of my fellow companions probably had, you know, or got infected and infected me somehow. So yeah. And the weird thing is uh, that time period when I got infected, like, a lot of my friends were also getting infected. Not not any, you know, I didn't go to them or they'd come to me, but like a lot of people were getting infected. Like when I tried to order uh, cough drops and stuff on like DoorDash from like the nearest C CVS, they were like sold out. And like, like Dayquil, NyQuil, and all of that, it was just, uh, it was a mess. It was a mess. But yeah. Oh yeah, and drink honey. I mean, not drink honey straight, but... <coughs> <coughs> honey and tea does help. Like, it soothes your throat, so... If uh, anything, you can also do that. But yeah, so... I hope... You guys are doing well, staying safe, not being sick. I turn 31 tomorrow. Isn't that crazy? So tomorrow will be my ninth year anniversary with Twitch. Isn't that, that's crazy. That, that makes me feel like an ancient, but yeah, I'm going to be 31. <laughs> oh, I stopped counting after 25, but hey. Uh, my headset just died. <laughs> but I'm talking, so I don't know how it, it can die. Okay, all right. Well, sorry, my wireless headset died. So I think that's going to be the end of my vlog for today because I probably need to charge it before I can stream. Um, or else I'll just die in the middle of my stream. But, yeah. Oh, so, because I have to start my YouTube channel over, <sighs> I'm trying to get it, like, partnered with YouTube again, even though, like, I'm partnered with Twitch, you know, and I, like, upload my videos straight to YouTube, and they're, like, directly connected. But technically it's not YouTube, so I have to rebuild my community. So, if you guys can like, no, or not like, well, you guys can like the video if you want, but if you guys can sub to my channel, that would be great. That way I can like start building it up again. Um, I will make more vlogs. I will upload more content. If I do end up hitting, let's see, two days to go, so I turn 31 tomorrow. I am I have a goal of 200 subs. If I can hit 200 subs in, like within two days, I will give away randomly 
like I, I'll do some like you know enter the YouTube names and a, a thingy magic and then do a random nizer or something and I'll choose uh, a YouTube uh, person <laughs> to give this to so I painted this it's a Cthulhu Oh yeah, so I, yeah, d and I've been playing D&D like this lot. So I painted this, so if I can reach that 200 subs, I will give this away to one of you lucky peoples. And I will disinfect it and everything. I, I no longer have COVID, but I will disinfect it and everything before I send it out. All right, so. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. You guys stay safe. Um, happy New Year. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. All right.